Welcome back. It's now time for Mission. And Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Now, residents of Atiga Goma, an island settlement in the Senate East District of the Bune East Region, are appealing for an improved educational and health infrastructure in the area. The community is yet to enjoy a decent health and school infrastructure since 1992. The Sine East District was carved out of the Sine District in 2011. With KJG as its capital, the district is surrounded by the Sine and Volta rivers. There are more than 10 island communities in the district. From Defoe Bateau, the team set out on a 45 minutes voyage to Atiga Gome, a fishing community inhabited by indigenous of Ningo, Ada, Bato, and other parts of the Volta region. The community is connected to a solar powered plant. The Atiga Gome electoral area is the first settlement to have been established by the people of Kitekrachi. With a Volta population of more than 800, the area has remained underdeveloped. Access to healthcare and education are a challenge. The entire district has no hospital. As a result, minor and emergency cases on the island are ferried to Kitekrachi, an hour and 20 minutes journey. Residents recounted the ordeal. I have island. I have a I have a island. I I have I have a I I Successive governments have failed to prioritize development of the districts. Putting their destiny into their own hands, leadership of the community initiated the construction of a chips compound to cater for their primary health care needs. The project is funded by proceeds from the sale of Premix fuel allotted to the area. The community also has educational challenges. In order to ensure that children receive basic formal education, the community, through communal service, constructed an improvised structure. No professional teacher has been posted yet because the school has not been absorbed by the Ghana Education Service. Two other classes are held under these trees because the dilapidated structure could not accommodate all peoples. Although school was not in session during our visits due to the coronavirus outbreak, some parents who spoke to TV3 Mission were worried about the state of infrastructure to be used should schools reopen. The Senate East Constituency Chairman of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Samson Lawe, argues the government under John Dramani Mahama shared the national cake to benefit all. He added, Health infrastructure improved significantly under the eight-year NDC regime and would implement more programs and projects to alleviate the plight of the people if John Mahama is given a second chance. The island communities, you know, formerly there was no school there. We forced to put some, some schools there. We are ever ready that any moment 2020, when we voted to power again, all those will not be solved. You know, the few one that you are seeing it now was controlled by NDC. The health post here was controlled by NDC. The whole you are having that MPP, the moment NDC is off in the Senate East, MPP doesn't add anything to it again. So that's our problem. But the district chief executive, Benya Abraham, thinks otherwise. You can see it is a political talk. Since MPP took over from uh, that was 2017 coming. There, there you could see that our district now is enjoying massive development. So if so, so somebody sees somewhere to say uh, they brought this in, they brought no, everything is there, evidence is there. We talk with data. We don't talk just like uh, you talk, 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 talk. We do the data. Come. So far as we are in a community and we are in a human society, problems continue occurring. And so definitely you will not say everything has been hot, uh, uh, totally off. But we are doing our best, and we believe that uh, with our president, Nanako Fado, all these things will be solved. 
For residents of Atigagome and its adjoining islands, improving educational and health infrastructure are necessities. <laughs> As political parties prepare to outdoor their manifestos in the run-up to the December polls, electorates at Atiga Gome would want government to consider infrastructural developments in the health and educational sectors to engender access to quality care and lifelong learning for all.